I remember I had a girlfriend I'd been going out with for a couple of years. And when I told her that I was leaving medicine to pursue stand-up comedy, she broke up with me the next day. <coughs> Thank you for your laughter over there. <laughs> I hope I never get sick and have them as my nurses. Oh, it hurts really bad, really bad? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's something else. <laughs> it hurts. She broke up with me the next day, and the, the, the thing that hurt the most about it is what she said she always liked most about me, my sense of humor. <laughs> she lied. <laughs> but I learned from that experience, because when I meet a girl now, I don't tell her I'm a comedian. I tell her I'm a doctor. <laughs> I'm not dumb, but I live in Hollywood. And I met a girl out there, we were having a very good conversation, and then she said, so uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a doctor. <laughs> well, don't get so full of yourself, because it's not like you play a doctor on TV. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was hurt. That made me want to take her home and treat her like a doctor. <laughs> Make her wait outside my bedroom for two hours. Spend five minutes with her and send her a bill for 575 bucks. <laughs> Who's your doctor now? <laughs> <laughs>